In this video, you're going to learn how to link Google Search Console and Google Analytics so you can see how you're performing within organic search results. I'm Benjamin and I'm going to help you get the most out of your data to improve your website and online marketing. If you haven't already, then please subscribe to receive the latest tips, tutorials and more. Let's get started. Google Search Console allows us to access data about the performance of our website in Google Search results. Setting up Search Console is really important because we can't access this data automatically within Google Analytics. We'll actually find that data from Google Organic Search shows up as not provided, which doesn't really give us that many insights at all. So by setting up Google Search Console, we can actually bring in some clarity around the different search queries or keywords that people are using on Google to find and then click through onto our website. So we can head into Search Console and the first step is to make sure we actually have our website set up and verified inside Search Console. So here I've jumped in and we can see that nothing's set up. So I need to first off enter in my website and verify it. So I enter in my domain name. For my example today, I'm gonna to use my personal site. and then I can click on Add a Property. Now Google Search Console provided a recommended method for verifying that you own the domain and website. So in this particular instance, it's recommending Google Tag Manager. But just to highlight, you can use the alternate method. So for my example, it's recommending Tag Manager, but also I have the option to upload a file to my server. I can add a tag to all the pages of my site or just the home page. I can actually verify through my domain name provider. So whoever I've purchased my domain name through, I can add in a DNS record or I can verify using Google Analytics. But for today's example, I'm gonna go with the recommendation which is Google Tag Manager. It's actually my preferred option if it is available. So now I can click on Verify. And in this particular case, because I'm already a manager level access on Tag Manager, it's verified that I actually already have control over the domain, so now I'm done. Now let's look at how we can link Google Analytics through to Search Console now that we have it set up. So I'm going to head into Google Analytics. Now I need to make sure I'm in the admin section. So on the bottom left hand corner of Google Analytics you can click on the configuration icon for the admin section. And what you're looking for is in the center column here under property. So under property, just coming down under product linking, you'll see all products. I can click on all products. And this is where I can actually tie things like AdWords as well as Search Console into my Google Analytics account. So here I just need to travel down. If I just scroll to the very bottom, I can see I have the option to link uh, Google Search Console. Just to highlight, if you already have it linked, it will be towards the top of this options page. So I'm just gonna click on link. And now I can see that currently Google Analytics is not pulling in any data from Search Console. So I'm just gonna click on edit. This is now going to send me off to Search Console. In this particular case, I can see I have the one site that I have verified. You may have multiple sites that are verified, so just choose the appropriate site and click on Save. And we're going to confirm the link. Now we can see that we're back in Search Console and the link is successful, so I can just double check this by heading back into Google Analytics. And here I can now see that Search Console is linked. I also just want to highlight if you have more than one reporting view, you can select which reporting views you'd like Search Console data to become available inside. So here I've got my one view selected, and then I can choose if I wanted to modify that if I had multiple views, say. So I'm happy with that, and we're good to go now. So now I can jump into my Google Analytics reports, and you'll actually find the our Search Console reports under Acquisition and under Search Console. You have landing pages, countries, devices, and queries, and this is just pulling in data from Google Search Console into Google Analytics. The nice thing here is that the Search Console reports will actually combine the data straight out of Search Console along with our session based metrics. So if we use the landing pages report, for example, we're going to see clicks, impressions, and click through rates straight out of. Search Console, but we'll see that complemented by things like the number of sessions, the bounce rate, and even conversion metrics as well. So that's how we link the two products together. So that's how you can link Google Search Console and Google Analytics. Tell me how you're using Google Search Console reports. Let me know and leave your tips in the comments below. 
If you thought this video was helpful, then please subscribe, share it with your friends, and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.